Alright guys, I decided to make this tutorial about how to set up voice meter banana with radio DJ, your microphone and a Skype minimum setup for a radio show, okay? And I decided to do this after I don't know how many hours I spent trying to figure out how to make it work, uh, wasting time listening to other tutorials on YouTube. Uh, that they are wrong, they are wrong and they are confusing, okay? I'm trying to make it easy and I think that the best way to do it is forget my English, all right? Uh, I never did something like this. Uh, I hope you appreciate the effort, okay? Um, I'm gonna try to do this and make it easy starting from the logic behind voice meter banana. Okay, understand the logic of it, and after that, everything, any kind of setup, audio setup, will come very easy to you. Um, voice meter banana is a mixer. Okay, uh, it's not a real mixer; it's a virtual mixer. You, voice meter banana doesn't have uh, real hardware ports; it's all virtual. Okay. It deals with software, okay? It deals with input and output devices. They are either real hardware devices or virtual devices, all right? The virtual devices are the software. The hardware devices are the real things you can touch, right? Microphone, headphones, and CD players, whatever, okay? Anything that is connected to your computer through a real cable, it's a hardware device, either input or output. And anything that happens inside your computer, software-wise, that's a virtual device, like Radio DJ. Radio DJ, it's a virtual device. Skype is a virtual device, all right? And either, even AltaCast, it's a virtual device connected to do something all right so um, voice meter banana uh, calls the inputs and the outputs as hardware input and hardware output in reality it's, it's all virtual and it's a it, 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 it's virtual uh, it's hardware devices connected through virtual ports the ports are all virtual Okay, so the microphone is a hardware device connected to voice meter banana through a virtual port because voice meter banana is not a real mixer board, it's a virtual mix. Okay, um, the outputs they're the same story. You have outputs that go to hardware devices through A1, A2, and A3, and you have virtual devices connected to, um, through B1 and B2, which are the virtual outputs, as, banana, as voice meter banana calls them, okay? So, it's what they call virtual and hardware in reality is not the outputs or inputs, it's the devices, okay? So, let's say, uh, let's say input and output from now on okay um, and use the virtual for only to, to, to describe the devices uh, one thing that is important to understand is that there is one piece of software one um, hard as a virtual device that is radio DJ that needs to be connected to our mixer as if it was a real hardware device, external device, uh, okay? We need to handle, we need to deal with Radio DJ as an external device, not as a uh, desktop uh, device, as not as a virtual device, okay? Because, and this is a mistake that other guys, other tutorials, you, you find other videos, other tutorials, they, they make this mistake. Do not put Radio DJ on your desktop 
on your virtual input because if you do so your audience will hear anything that will happen in your computer including Windows um, Windows notification while the music is on if you have a break and you have music and something happens in your desktop okay then you're going to broadcast anything that happens anything that happens in your computer you're gonna broadcast it to your audience you don't want to do that okay so um, it's important that you remember this do not connect any virtual input device to the virtual uh, input in voice media panel you need to use virtual cable and you download it from the VB audio software this is the cable you need to install this is a virtual cable you download it you install it and then you will find it in your Windows devices you see the sound devices record there we go cable output cable input okay once you've installed it all right you go to radio dj you go to options options and you go sound card tab and you use the cable input drop in the drop down menu you select cable input because this is how you connect okay you say how do i connect radio dj to the mixer and you say through the cable input set all of the outputs here um, all the connections with cable input okay close that's it when you go back to voice media banana you go here you change to radio dj and the number two here you select cable output okay so this one becomes fader for your music for radio dj okay now you have this fader for your microphone and this one for radio dj now we need to set up Skype. Tools, options, audio settings, voice meter auxiliary output here in the microphone, which is actually the input, and here the speakers, which is output. Skype output goes to voice meter auxiliary input. Okay, you understand the way it works? Once you set this, you're gonna have Skype on B2 for all of your input sources, okay? And you're gonna have AltaCast, which is the last piece of the game of the puzzle here. This is the software that sends the streams your program to your radio station server. You're gonna set them on voice meter uh, output, and this is going to be B1. This is what voice media banana calls b1 okay so let's for instance you want uh you you talking to your audience okay you're talking and you have b1 is on so your audience hears what you say okay then at some point you have a break you send the music right you have the music in the background and b1 is on here right so your audience will hear will hear the music okay then you you see and that's it then you want to talk to whoever is in your studio your house you mute b1 now you can talk you can say anything you want nobody in the internet is going to hear nobody of your audience is going to hear okay so b1 is on your internet audience here everything um b2 your skype guest will hear okay so be, remember skype on b2 and altacast on b1 okay now let's say that you have your program going on and you want to chat with your skype uh, guest privately okay how you do it you you go to the skype and you say okay skype my guest i don't want the audience to hear my guest so you mute B1, you close the connection to Altacast, okay, 
and the same story for yourself we want to buy so no thing is going to be sent to AltaCast beside the music here okay your audience is listening to the music your break your, and you talk to your guest privately okay this is the way it works all right now um you guys are, are now I'm using b2 to record the screencast so i cannot mute it to for you know to, to, to mute for instance skype let's say that i don't want my my guest to hear the music right so i mute b2 if i mute b2 i can talk with my skype guest privately and he doesn't hear the music and also i don't want to hear the music so i go a1 is off okay okay so i i don't hear anything but my guest okay when once i'm done uh we go back b1 now is on is on the air your guest is on the air because this is skype b1 is active and your guest is on the air okay everybody hears what he says okay um let's say now for instance you want to talk about a video of something you know george Please. carlin right advertising oh, you know, you know right. you have this this quality this value right. style okay. service and selection convenience economy your... savings performance right. experience okay let's say now we want to talk about what george carlin says okay you you were using you know b1 it was on if it was on okay you want your audience to hear the george carlin you do it like this this is the George Carlin, your YouTube fader, the desktop, anything that comes from um, desktop sounds, anything, okay? It's this one here, okay? Virtual input, okay? So you have B1, and everybody was able to hear, and your audience was able to hear George Carlin. Also your guest, because it's on B2, okay? With B1 off here, no this is the safe way to do it you keep b1 off on the virtual input because you don't want your audience to hear what happens in your computer unless you really want it like george carlin right you go on and you make everybody here then go buy off okay so that's it is these are the masters uh, the master faders have your program is control the volume of your program is controlled by these faders okay anything that happens here okay these are the inputs anything that happens here here goes out through these faders okay these faders and these buttons one a1 a2 a3 b1 and b2 they are the same the, the switches they go on and off but uh, the faders, you can fade the, the, the audio, okay? But these are the same, all right? Um, then you can also record with Voice Me The Banana. You can record your show, right? Let's say this is our show. I'm talking to you. I'm recording it, okay? Then the show is over. Stop. When you play back, you decide who is going to hear your show, yourself, uh, the other out, uh, hardware audio, uh, hardware output, right? Or your audience, B1 through AltaCast, or B2, your guest, okay? So, it basically, is B, either B1 or A1. You're not going to have somebody, you know, in Skype listen to, the, to your program, right? So, that's it. It's simple, and remember, never connect never use the virtual uh, input for players music players anything keep it only for your desktop and keep it mute be one always off so nobody's gonna hear what happens in your desktop and use the virtual cable to connect it to the mixer as an external hardware device Bye-bye. Ciao from Italy.